The drop cap is sometimes used at the beginning of a chapter in a book and it's where the first letter of the first word is larger than the rest of the text in that paragraph. Now, to include one in Word, I'm first of all going to highlight the whole of the paragraph. I'm going to select Format from the top menu and then Drop Cap. You can see that I've got a few different options. I can either have a drop cap that's part of the paragraph or I can have that first letter included in the margin. I'm going to choose the second option for now. You can specify what font you want. So you can have a different font for the drop cap. You can specify how many lines you want it to be. So if it's three lines, the letter is going to be three lines high. And you can specify how far away the drop cap is from the rest of the text there. Once you're happy with all of this information, you can click on OK and you can see there the drop cap has now been included.